Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Damon. And, and this, this is Matt and Damon, Damon Watch a Movie. This time on Matt and Damon, we're going to watch... The All-Nighter. That's right, the 80s romp. But first... Cocktail Challenge! This time on Matt and Damon, I'm going to make you the Up All-Nighter. So what I did was I got the Manhattan Special, uh, which is an espresso coffee soda, a new coffee liqueur from California called Firelit, Ooh. and then the uh, orange liqueur I chose is Cambier, and then the tequila is a Blanc. Damon loves Blanc. tequila. It's still Remember when he favorite. gave me so much shit last time for using tequila, and now he's like, I'll make a tequila drink. It's still crap. I'll pre-mix it before the show. Uh huh. So what you're going you to miss is that. me chopping the fruit. So magic. Voila! Hey! An entire carafe of the Up All Nighter. So let's give this a taste. All right, let's do it. Yeah. So my drink is dedicated to a very special lady. Her name is Tamar Simon Hoffs. Oh, I thought you were going to say Susanna Hoffs. No, no. Susanna Hoffs is a special lady. Okay. Tamar Simon Hoffs is her mom. Yes. The director of this 80s sex romp that we're about to watch. Okay. Also, this is interesting. She's the first woman to have a triple credit on a movie as she was a director, writer, and producer. So it's basically a, a fancy dub gin and tonic. We're gonna have a little Hendrix gin, tonic yeah, water. Hendrix. It's just tonic water, just get tonic water. The special ingredient, tam tamarindo. Tamarind flavor stuff. Got, you could use a tamarind yeah. nectar, that'd be classy, but I can't find that stuff. I could get tamarind soda anywhere. So that's what we're gonna do. So here we go. Here's our glasses. That was a good Long Island range, by the way. Thank you. Now, for measuring the gin, think to yourself how much you like gin and then put that much of gin in it. Jeez. It's fine. But, okay. And then, finally, tamarindo. There's 100% sugar in that. There's 100%. On the it's all the way up to 100% sugar on this guy. I'm going to teach everybody how to garnish in a way. All right, look, lemon juice. I mean, lime juice, you guys. Lime juice, everybody. Limes are green. Now, for garnish, Use the orange peel, why not? And just put it in the drink. Oh, Who cares? Um, it floats. Look, another one. There it goes. And then you want more smells. Maybe cilantro. It's like a Thai thing. Now you should stir it before you put that stuff in there. And there you go. Oh, and the name of the, the cocktail is the Hops Mama. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. ah, all right. Mm -hmm. Cheers! Cheers. Alrighty. Mm. 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 Hops so, Mama. Hops Mama. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I don't, I haven't seen a lot of this movie. I've seen bits and pieces. I do not think Junkies have been friends with the rest of those people. Maybe also, all those other people seem horrible. Hey, Is that true? I don't know yet. Hi, Molly. What'd you do with my towel? I don't know. I, maybe I threw it out. No. Not my lucky towel. Wow. Why you leave your lucky towel around? Oh, there it is. This seems like dialogue that they would make fun Let's of in a Charles Bush play. Very Where's close. my towel? I don't know, maybe I threw it out. You threw out my lucky towel? Oh, aw. <laughs> this is basically a Gidget movie, but with no jokes. You know what your problem is? What? You think too much. Mansplaining. You gotta learn to take each day as it comes. Oh, like there's a lot of mansplaining in this movie. Let's, let's drink every time somebody mansplains. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough, man. Flame. Oh, he's wearing his uh, mom's coat. He looks like Rio from Gem and the Holograms. Is that one of those other guys? Is some other completely different guy? It's a completely different guy. He That's, does look uh, like a Gem and the Holograms. Michael Ontin from Twin Peaks. Hey, how come you guys are putting my pot in the pot? Whoa! Is, oh, here we go. Oh, that was pot and it was not oregano. <laughs> Get it. They're hitting all the classic beats. No. I think that that might have been invented in this movie. No. Okay. And then people ran with it and everything since. And they don't get the credit for having invented these, these what are Bruce now classic no, jokes. No, I disagree. Do you want, you know what I want uh, in a film what? where I watch and the lead is from rock and roll band and everybody loves her because of that? Like some songs by that person? Yeah, I want to see her. Whoa, just rolling in. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm here we go. You Ready? can't just walk into No, no, no. Oh. It's not their house. It's a bad cut. It was an insane cut. It's her counselor's office. When the moon is in the seventh wave. He's the best character I've ever seen in a movie. Appreciate it. <laughs> Killer? I think his lines are just randomly pulled from a newspaper. Then this gets weird. She's gonna dance for him by herself and then her friend's gonna film it. This is so close to being like random college porn. This movie is now becoming unbearably white. Oh, this is amazing. What is she doing? 
This is the scene of the white people appropriating uh, Mexican culture and calling it the fiesta. Appropriating a Mexican word. I mean, just, ruin <laughs> just ruining it. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, stand up. Let me take a look at you. Oh boy, Brad. Not a cool dude. This is oh boy. incredibly sexist Slowly. and disgusting. This is terrible. Like? Wait, that guy's not just gay? No. Boy, do I have good taste. Are you 100% on that? <laughs> yeah. This is her dad. Her dad, Brad. Her Brad dad. Braddy daddy. That's, an ins that's a serial killer's notebook. That is a notebook <laughs> of stuff this woman has written down and then scratched out. Dear diary. It was Dear diary. Ah, ah, ah. All the scratches are gone. It was another manic Monday. <laughs> You can see Ryan up her skirt in this part of this movie. Her mom is making this, her mom didn't notice that? This is where she just dances in front of the mirror, takes off her clothes and fixes her hair. She is taking her skirt off. Yep. Now she's in her panties and her top. She's angry at her top. She just threw that skirt on the floor like she's mad at it. What? What? Oh, we need is high heels and it's actually- And maybe pants. And a, a doorbell rings and it's the pizza man with a 12 inch sausage. Why do you need a 12 inch sausage on a pizza? Oh. Cause that's the... Yeah, I get it. It's a penis, I think. That's a lot of penis. Yes, it is. And it, all you wanted was a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> what is this, Brad? Yep. He has perfect nipples. I mean, they're just perfectly round. Uh, uh, what? Jesus, getting younger all the time. Now there's a hotel detective plot. Remember, so, you can't touch her unless she goes upstairs. They're saying that all the women that walk into this hotel yeah. that are made up we'll are prostitutes. Beach. So every woman that walks into that hotel is a whore? When I took French class in high school, my teacher told me that French people like to wear all the same color. So like they would wear like your, a red shirt, your and red pants, didn't and red shoes, use but the, it would all be the different. The word monochromatic? They were, no, it would be all different shades of red. Doesn't that count as monochromatic? No, it's different shades. Ombre. Yeah, it's an ombre. <laughs> no, that's like a good dude, I think. <laughs> just go through the... Why is she not just leaving through the door? Because she's drunk. We're supposed to believe that she's so drunk. Like, I mean, honestly, a sober person would not do this. I think that's what we're supposed well, to do. Well, like, she's not made a lot of real smart choices in this movie no. so far. Like, remember when she couldn't remember if she threw her towel away or not? Remember when she put the weed she's in like, the, I guess I could She put the weed in the tomato sauce? Not like a little... Remember when she said she created a dance to that song and the dance was just her being epileptic? And then she thought that guy was the Beatles? Yes. All She's made nothing but bad choices. This is the place. Have fun, girls. It's a hooker party, <laughs> right? Wait, this isn't oh, the gross. right room. It's a prostitution ring. Oh, they are operating yeah. right out of the hotel. Yeah. Oh, well, that just seems smart. Does it? That is not <gasps> a real backwards move. That was not a... They just reversed the film, and it was not in a funny. They just did it again. <laughs> I need to drink more. <laughs> No, it's the economy. The interest rates are down. Yeah, I've even been thinking about buying some property. You know, I had it with stocks. The one thing that makes Condos. me stop talking Condos? is horse talking real estate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I mean, that's a TLC show. Horse talking real estate? Yeah, late night. Whoa! She's acting like she's going to get shot. Good answer. Good answer, Gina. You do not want a whore's makeup in a paddy wagon. <laughs> Rise and shine. Major waves. Is this guy a robot? No babes. No babes, but he uncovers no his babes. friend who you know is no doubt naked. He's just he was like... checking for babes. Yeah, he... Yeah. They've seen it all. He was not checking for babes. This is incredibly homoerotic. Wow. Are we watching this? This is where Joel Schumacher got the idea for Batman. <laughs> they whip out the sex rags. <laughs> Alright, you know, we've got a plot to move along, and this is a long time spent. This is an actual song. This is the only song that we know. These guys are not getting into it. Gleaming the Cube 2. Possibly homo. <laughs> <laughs> Killer does look like the surfer version of the world, um, what's his face in Blade Runner. Oh yeah, he does. Rucker Howard. Mm -hmm. Tears in the rain, bitch. Tears in the rain. 
Yeah, we'd like to see the duty officer, please. Who's this 12-year-old? Yeah, that would be Sergeant McLeish. Hey, Angel Buffy fans, that's yeah, Whistler. Killer's... Killer's gone. Where'd he go? Atlantis. Killer Basically. has returned to his people. He just took <laughs> Killer has returned to his people. He dove into the ocean just and became one with gone. Neptune. <laughs> he will return with a conquering army. <laughs> of fish folk. Your mom says I have to do this scene with you. <laughs> this scene is fucking terrible. Sorry that my ball smell like mildew. It's because I'm a bro. <laughs> Sorry my bed smells like that lady you hate. Like, why does this bed smell like Jean Nate? Oh wait, he's got makeup over his whole body and so does she. I forget about that kind of thing. Yeah. So that That's... mattress must look insane. <laughs> After they're done, insane. it's just a it's fucking like block. It's like the of Turin. It's just like... Was Tammy <laughs> Faye here? Tammy Faye and Jesus died on this Tammy mattress. Tammy Faye tripped and fell on her face on this mattress. I welcome you to Pacifica College's 41st graduating ceremony. Everybody turn around because they could smell those two coming up the sidewalk. They could smell them. They're like, ah, oh, come on, oh man. There's Budussy coming up here. Just jump in the ocean for a second. Budussy. Oh, pretty good. Guys, he finally had sex. Yay. The two most non-people in our entire class. It's been great. Don't we really miss it? I don't, this movie is never over. The one thing I know about this movie is that it never ends. Hi, we're back. The movie ended. Thankfully. I was kind of surprised, happily surprised, by some of the characters that I thought were really interesting. I'm not f super familiar with Dee Dee Pfeiffer, but she did some really good stuff. John Cusack obviously did some really good stuff. That guy who played Killer is my new hero. That's the most insane character I've ever seen in a movie. They got stupidly dark mm -hmm. mm. in the second half. Confusingly dark. Mm -hmm. Those two hotel detective guys. Oh, the that worst. That was like a strange subplot amongst the strangest subplot. Technically speaking, you're going to want to do some establishing shots every once in a while in the film. It did get a little confusing in some of those hard cuts. See, I feel a little more grumpy about that. She gets stuck in the balcony. He full well knows that she's out there. And he has sex the rock star. with her uh, counselor. Yes. Which is never even talked about again. It's just a weird pile right. of strange. It's really kind of hard to review this film. Yeah. Because it's not fantastic. And we didn't really listen to the whole thing. No, we didn't. I'm giving it uh, out of out of a possible ten bratty daddies. Eight. Eight out of ten bratty daddies. I give it five negative bratty daddies. Wait, I take it back. Did I say negative five? Yeah. Okay, I give it a negative four because Michael on teams. There's people that I like in it, but it's not a good movie. It's so not a good movie, it's an insane, mind-bendingly amazing movie. You won't understand what's happening, it's gonna take you on a trip to the ocean with Killer. Mind-bending? As a dolphin bend. So, thank you, thank you so much for watching. I'm Matt. And I'm Damon. And this has been Matt, Matt and Damon, Damon watch, watch a movie. movie. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. Maybe it's here. Not a thumbs down. Maybe the button is here. Oh, where is the button? Maybe it's not a button, it's a square. No, it's down there. That's where it exists. Don't listen to it. And don't watch this movie. <laughs>